So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how I keep my Nepenthes collection healthy. So this video is going to cover topics such as how to get rid of caterpillars, a watering schedule, when to repot, and some more topics that I might as well just think of along the way. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is caterpillars, which is a prominent issue when you're growing your plants outside. So every now and again, you'll get pictures that look like this, where they've been eaten off by caterpillars. And there isn't really any way to prevent this, except for just being really careful and looking around for any signs of caterpillars. And that can include like small holes in the leaves or pictures. Uh, as you can see there, that was probably done by a caterpillar. Uh, there's also um, webbing that kind of looks like a spider, but not really. Uh, I don't think I can see one at the moment, but the leaves will also have brown spots on them. So it's a very unusual look, and it's definitely not like normal looking, so you'll definitely be able to point it out. But unfortunately, I don't think I have any examples at the moment, and they're usually in rolled, rolled up leaves like this. Um, so hopefully that helps. Uh, the next topic, I think I said... Um, watering schedule so I water my plants around once a week uh, that doesn't mean you should water yours once a week it just depends on the climate uh, I'm in Australia so it's quite warm but it's winter now so it's about five degrees while I'm filming this video but generally the smaller plants will require watering more often because they well obviously their smaller amount of soil takes less time to dry out but uh, you really need these sort of pots. I don't think they're very widely spread outside of Australia, but if you can get them, do, because they got these built-in water trays. You can easily take them off. They just click on. You can see here. Oh, no. I'm going to try to find one without it. Oh, here we go. There's one without a uh, bottom on it. Oh, here's another one. So you can easily pop them off, and that's really good because it can hold the water and you don't have to water them as often, but uh, do be careful with that because if it rains a lot, then your um, plant can get soaked and it won't dry out because it's got the water there and it'll rot. So I might as well talk about rot next. So you'll find that if your plants are getting constant water, uh, they might stop growing for a bit, be a bit slower or not produce any pictures. And then you'll try to pick the plant up you'll accidentally grab a leaf and it'll just like pull off. There'll be this black mush where the plant stem will be. And that's actually happened to one of my smaller plants, my gold vichii. And basically what rot is, is when the soil's like too wet, like a bog, and then uh, some bacteria or pathogen gets into the plant stem, basically just like turns it into brown mush. And unless you catch it, when it's only on the roots, then you can probably save the plant, but usually your plant's just immediately gone. So that's another thing you've got to be careful of. Uh, that's why I've got this umbrella stand to prevent most of these from getting overwatered. Uh, next thing I was going to talk about repotting. So generally when your plant's leaf diameter is two to three times the size of the pot, or it's starting to slow down its growth, that's when I would repot. So even something like this, this is still growing uh, very quickly, very vigorously, and I wouldn't think that it's root bound in there because Nepenthes have very small root systems. Um, like, let's say this plant right here would have a root system like that big. So you can keep them in really small pots, but I wouldn't advise um, putting them in a massive pot, the exact opposite, where they can grow into it, because again, that soil can stay wet for too long and your plant can rot. So, uh, the only other thing really I can talk about, let me know in the comments if there's anything else, is pests. So I've had uh, thrips or spider mites, can't really remember on this truncata, and Generally what you want to do, oh yeah, you can see some evidence on the old leaves, they're a bit discoloured. Um, what you want to do is you want to buy some neem oil. You can get it from Bunnings, which is an Australian 
It's like Home Depot, but for Australians. If you're not Australian, I think you can still buy it. But you can see this trinkard is healthy now. It's putting out massive leaf jumps. So this plant, I'll tell you its story in full because it's absolutely hilarious. So I got this about four or five years ago, I think in 2019. And then I put it in the tree and a caterpillar ate off the growth point. That's the worst thing you could possibly do if you're a caterpillar, eat an Nepenthes growth point, because then it has to shoot an offshoot out the side and it takes forever to grow. So that's what this plant did. Not sure if you can see it down there where the stem takes a bit of a right angle. But um, after that, it was slowly growing back and then the spider mites came. So had to treat it with neem oil. It's fine now. Hopefully nothing else happens to it. Hopefully. I uh, might as well give some updates while I'm here. So that's a Truncata Squacros nebularum picture. That's a wonderful plant. That's actually sitting in the sun. So hopefully that'll uh, have some nice coloration. Oh, here, here's a caterpillar. Um, here's what a caterpillar evidence looks like. So this is on a Truncata hybrid, which means that stem will be like curled up together. And you can see that caterpillar poop there. I'll see if the caterpillar's in here. They'll make this like web stuff, you can see. And that's really a pest because if it attacks the midrib of the leaf, it'll kill off the pitcher. And the pitcher is the best thing, like it's, it's the thing you want out of the plant, <laughs> unless you're a breeder and you want uh, seeds. But I, I haven't managed to grow any seeds except for my Carziana that died shortly after. Uh, we'll just move over here quickly. Not sure there's gonna be anything else. Lowy trincata has got a nice picture forming there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, seven minutes. Okay, so it wasn't that short. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.